Hello and welcome to Springdale District News. I'm Sabrina Terrell and on today's show we'll talk about the recent move of the Professional Development Center of Springdale as well as our third part of the week segment and our first of five spring break segments. But first, in the event of February being Black History Month, we'd like to honor Martin Luther King Jr. and his efforts for pioneering colored freedom and equal rights. Today is a Wednesday, February 13th and Springdale District News starts now. Our top story. With the Professional Development Center of the Springdale Schools needing more workspace, they recently moved from the ALE building on Emma Street to the more spacious Cannon Building. We go to Hunter Main for more info on the PDC move. Springdale Public Schools is not only about teachers and students, it's also about support staff. And the PDC is the central hub of it all. So there's about 15, 15 of us in this building. From professional development to testing coordinator, they were busting at the seams. The movement has been a win-win for the Springdale School District. Not only does it provide more room for ALE students, but also provides more office space for professional development. Professional development mainly for the teachers. Um, they, they do professional development every single day. Um, the computer lab here we'll, we'll use for trainings on um, technology, stuff like that. Having had the opportunity to move buildings, Professional development in ALE should increase productivity and learning. For SPS TV, I'm Hunter Main. Thanks, Hunter. With the new building equipped with four seminar rooms, the PDC is now able to have more teacher in services for training the district faculty. Now it's time for news around the district. Central Junior High School hosted the Regional Spelling Bee on Tuesday, January 29th. Caroline Elser of Haas Hall Academy won the competition in the 33rd round, correctly spelling the 248th word. Efficient. It's an adjective. Uh, well advanced in an art, an occupation, a skill, or a branch of knowledge. Proficient. Proficient. P R O F I C I E N T. Proficient. And in the 33rd round, with the 249th word, Caroline Elser is our champion. Congratulations to Caroline Elser. Next year, the regional spelling bee will be held at Haas Hall Academy in Fayetteville. Although five Springdale schools have been serving breakfast in the classroom since before Christmas, Bayard Elementary recently held an official celebration to thank their sponsors, the Walmart Foundation. Coming up after the break, we'll talk about the Springdale High School swim team and their journey to the state competition. College doesn't have to be expensive, and Pittsburgh State University can help with a Gorilla Advantage program. In-state tuition to surrounding communities in Missouri, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. That's a savings of nearly $5,000 per semester. And thanks to Pitt State's flat rate tuition, full-time students can take additional classes at no extra charge. A big tradition, a big selection of classes, and big opportunities, all at a cost that's not so big. Big dreams, big ideas, big careers start at Pittsburgh State University. Welcome back. With many members of Springdale High School's swim team advancing to the state meet later this month, several swimmers have high hopes of advancing past the state competition. We go to Lane McCall for more info on the SHS swim team. With the Arkansas High School state swim meet getting closer, Springdale High swimmers are improving their qualifying times every day. As a high school sophomore, do you think it's unusual to have qualified for the state meet two years in a row now, and why? I think it's very unusual for sophomores to do that because that, that means they had to be a freshman their first year and to continue doing that is a good um, record for yourself but I think it's unusual because unless you've been swimming your whole life, freshman would be the first year you'd be swimming and there's no way that really you'd get that good that quick. Uh, swim, uh, this is my third year swimming and this is my second year qualifying. This is my first year of swimming too. This will be my second year. While many SHS swimmers have already qualified for the state meet, Several swimmers are team standouts. What event do you plan to swim in at the state meet? Uh, state meet, probably 500 um, and our medley relay. The 100, uh, I want to get under a minute or a minute. Um, definitely the 100 fly and the 100 free. Um, those are my best events, so you know, hopefully I can get top six. How many of your swimmers have already qualified for the state swim meet this month? 13. 
With the swimmers' hopes of advancing past the state meet, the athletes are pushing harder than ever. Well, the 100 breast and the 50 free are my best ones. I think that's what I'll swim. And my goal is basically just to improve. I mean, I don't really have, I've already kind of met my goals for the season because I've improved so much this year. So I'm actually like really satisfied with my time. So as long as I improve and don't do worse, I think I'd be happy with the results. Where do you plan to go to college and do you plan on continuing swimming after high school? Uh, I plan on going to University of Missouri, uh, Columbia, and I'm really wanting to get um, to walk on the team for there. But it's just a matter of my times. Thanks, Lane. The Arkansas High School State Swim Meet will be held in Little Rock on February 23rd. With Valentine's Day coming up, SDN can guess that many people are still looking for a last minute way to showcase their love. Good news, we've got you covered with a unique gift, a genuine barbershop quartet. Ever since that lucky day I found you, I run around you just like a fool. Falling at in heels in love like a kid out of school. My poor heart is in an awful state now, late now to call a so if I become a nuisance, it's all your fault. So don't blame me for falling in love with you. I'm under your spell, but how can I help it? Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Conceal the thrill that I'm feeling. Don't blame me. I can't help it if that doggone moon above it makes me, makes me need someone like you to love. So blame, blame your kiss. As sweet as a kiss can be And blame all your charms That melt in my arms But don't blame me For falling in love With you For more information on a singing valentine, call Ron at 479-283-8453. Coming up after the break, we'll check out Pet of the Week. If you're looking for Bulldog News, room 902 is the room for you. If you're interested in any type of newspaper or print journalism, this stop is for you. You don't necessarily have to love writing to be a newspaper. You get to also do things like take pictures, and you could be an artist, you could be the cartoonist that r makes drawings for our opinion section. Uh, it's not just writing, so if you're involved with any of that, uh, definitely contact Miss Smith, uh, and she'll hook you up and get you started. We'd love to have you. Welcome back. This week, we teamed up with the Springdale Animal Shelter to bring you information about an adorable cat named Hero. Take a look. Hey guys, today we're here at the Springdale Animal Shelter and we have Hero. Can you tell us a little bit about Hero? Sure. Hero is about two years old. He is a very talkative and very affectionate cat. He's been here since the beginning of December and is looking for an upgrade to family living instead of living at the shelter. Right now, he is stationed in our front office, so you see him as soon as you walk in and he is very good at greeting everybody when they come in the door. 
And has he been neutered? Uh, he will be neutered before he goes home. <laughs> okay. Um, has he been declawed or anything like that? No, he still has all of his claws, so he could be, I guess, an indoor outdoor cat if you so choose. Okay. Um, he looks like a great cat, fun with kids and everything. Come in and visit Hero today, guys. And now, to kick off our five-week series of how to have the best spring break ever, SDN is bringing you the top five locations for teens to spend their spring break. Welcome to paradise. After the break, we see what's going on in Bulldog TV and HBWN. That's all from us today. Be sure to tune in next Wednesday at the same time to see the next segment on how to have the best spring break ever. Once again, I'm Sabrina Terrell. Thanks for watching Springdale District News. You're all the world to me, my love. You make everything so fine. Oh, you make my dreams reality and with you. Life is divine, it's so divine. Say it's only a paper moon. Sailing over a cardboard sea, buddy. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. Yes, it's only a canvas sky. Hanging over a muslin tree, buddy. But it wouldn't be make believe. Without your love, it's a honky-tonk parade. Without your love, it's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's a Barnum and Bailey world, just as funny as it can be. But it wouldn't be make-believe if you believed in me. Without we Just a charade. It's a Barnum and Bailey world, just as phony as it can be. But it wouldn't be make believe if I.